Hey YouTube, what's going on? Pano909 back again. This time I have my Taurus PT247. Um, I think it's all as, just as good as the SIG226 if you watched in my other video. Um, there's some points I like to point out in this gun since I've seen a lot of people have gotten one. I've seen three people in my neighborhood have one. So, again, there's the trademarks, Taurus, and then they got their little circle symbol. Um, their safety is right here. It's a word safe. Push. It's got the when there's a red dot shown, it means fire, and up is safe. Um, their mag release is here. It's a two part though because you have to squeeze the hand grip and push the button, so it comes clean out. Some people don't do that. Um, shoot three fifteen FPS has nice uh, nice little red dot sights like that. Has no hammer. Um, has a tack rail underneath there and nice rubber hand grip but other than that that's about it on this gun so anyway like I did in my other video for this SIG I'll show you how to take it apart first you pull the slide back to where this locks back like this so okay so it's like this so slide you would just take it and you pull back, push up on this middle piece. So the slide would be locked. Hoping it still say did. See how it's locked? Slides lock like that. Okay. Then you take this front piece where it's got the opening. You would twist it down. And you'd pull it out. So you just take it. Pull it out, metal rod in it. Then you just push down on this on the slide lock and slide forward. Then I think you have it's cocked, you have to fire it, and then it pulls right off. So that would be what it looked like. And this gun has jammed, so don't cock it too many times. Um my brother cock jammed it on me. He like got three BBs stuck in the barrel. So, cause it has um, like I said, oh, I don't have my other video on there yet, but it has these open ports like that. Where it, every time you pull the slide, it pulls open. So it jams it. So don't pull it back too many times. And then to put the to put the gun back together, you just repeat the procedure backwards. Slide the slide on, lock it, put the metal piece back in, and then just um, pull it back or let it go. So I'll do that right now. You just line the slide with the rails, push it forward, and you just lock it. And then you just take the piece and you put it in. slide it in right and then just twist and then just release so it runs back together and the magazine is a u-shape um, 25 round magazine uh, I recommend getting a speed loader like I have um, very helpful got these at Gander Mountain speed loaders I got at Gander Mountain for about five bucks they're not very expensive and um, they really help when you're on the battlefield trying to reload these things it's a very big pain to reload it one at a time so I will load it up oh actually first I want to show you the mag release mechanism on this gun since it's special um, so right here you can see there's the grip okay so right here you would squeeze I don't know if you heard that click or not, but it moves a little bit out. You can't really tell, but you have to. I'll do this with my other hand. Um, oh, and the other hand's holding the camera. So, all right. So you squeeze the hand grip, hit the button, comes right out, nice and easy. I heard a lot of people say it's oh, it's tough, it's tricky. That's because you have to squeeze the hand grip in order to let it loose. So, alright, I'll give you a firing test real quick. I'll load it up. 
I'll put you right here. Like I said, you pick these up at like Gander Mountain or any airsoft store. I'm guessing any airsoft store will have them. It's a good investment. Okay. So I'll adjust the camera a little bit. Alright, so this is this, the Taurus PT 24 7 Fire Impact. So I was running out of room, yeah, maybe just fell there. I uh, running out of room, I was running out of room to shoot at the target. So, I shot a little high. Not too bad, though. Like I said, the iron, the iron sights on these are really good. They're red, and they're really deadly. Um, so I hit really well. So, so, that's my video on this gun. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I picked this up at Walmart for, again, like the stick for like... Twenty twenty five dollars. Uh, recommend getting a speed loader, and if you want to add a laser, you can. I re I would recommend that too, for night wars and stuff. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. This is Vano nine oh nine out.